Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're well. Today I'll be showing you how to make four female component outfits using the component transfer glitch. To do these outfits, your main character needs to be a female character, your secondary character needs to be a male, and it will be deleted. And lastly, your previously saved female outfits will be deleted except for one. So please make sure you're wearing that outfit before we swap over to the male. As you can see here, I'm wearing my belt outfit. If you do not have a belt, I will leave in the description a link to a job to get a belt if you do not have one. So. Uh, let's get started. You're gonna want to start on your female and then you're gonna want to go options online and swap character When you get on your male character make your way to the store and for the first outfit You're gonna go into suit pants and put on the classic ivory suit pants Then go into business shirts and put on the ocean stripe shirt then go into leather jackets and put on the leopard leather fur jacket. Then go into ties and put on the blue skinny tie. Next go into sneakers and put on the pink plain high tops. Then go and save the outfit. For the second part of this outfit, we're going to go in to tank tops and put on the yellow striped tank. Then go into chains and put on the bronze coin pendant with the same shoes and pants and jacket as the last outfit. Go ahead and save this as the second part of the first outfit. For the second outfit, we're going to go into skate shoes and put on the pink skate shoes. Then we're going to go into sport pants and put on the dark camo muscle pants. Next, we're going to go into gloves and put on the light woodland tactical. Then we're going to go into designer t-shirts and we're going to put on the blue striped Santo Capra t-shirt. I'm just going to go into any category and remove the jacket that I'm wearing and save this as an outfit. For the second part of outfit two, we're going to go and put on the pink skater shoes again. Then we're going to go into leather jackets and put on the leopard leather jacket. Next, we're going to go into business shirts and put on the ocean stripe shirt. And from here, we're going to go into ties and put on the navy skinny tie. Lastly, we're going to go into gloves and put on the light woodland tactical gloves. And go ahead and save this. For outfit 3, we're going to go into arena war pants and put on the black chain pants. Then we're going to go into sneakers and put on the pink plain high tops. Next, we're going to go into business shirts and put on the ocean stripe shirt. Then we're going to go into leather jackets and put on the leopard leather fur jacket. Next, we're going to go into ties and put on the navy skinny tie. And lastly, we're going to go into gloves and put on the light woodland tactical. Now go ahead and save this. For the second part of this outfit, we're going to go into tank tops and put on the yellow striped tank. Then we're going to go into chains and put on the bronze coin pendant. And wearing the same jacket, pants, and shoes as the last outfit we made, we're going to go and save this as the second part of the third outfit. For the fourth outfit, we're going to go into arena wear pants and put on the gray chain pants. And we're going to go into leather jackets and put on the leopard leather fur jacket. Then we're going to go into business shirts and put on the ocean stripe shirt. Next, we're going to go into ties and put on the navy skinny tie. And for shoes, we're going to go into sneakers and put on the pink plain high tops. And lastly, you're going to add the light woodland tactical gloves and save this as an outfit. For the second part of outfit four, we're going to go into tank tops and put on the yellow striped tank. Then we're going to go into chains and put on the bronze coin pendant. With the same pants, jacket, and shoes as the outfit before, you're going to go ahead and save this as the second part of outfit 4. 
For the third part of outfit four, we're going to go into suit jackets and put on the purple long suit. Then we're going to go into business shirts and put on the ocean stripe cuffed shirt. Next, we're going to go into scarves and put on the green scarf. Then go into gloves and put on the light woodland tactical gloves. Now you're going to open up your interaction menu, go into body armor, and put on the super light armor. Now go and save this as the third part of outfit 4. Once all the male component outfits are created, you're going to go ahead and exit the store, open up your interaction menu, purchase some ammo, and then swap outfits to force a save. Once you see the orange loading circle save icon in the bottom right hand corner, go ahead and press options, online, and go into creator. If you do not know how to do the component transfer glitch, I have linked it in the description. So now once we're back on the female main character, first and foremost, you're going to save the outfit that you are wearing as this is not a saved outfit right now. And you're gonna open up your interaction menu and check that your male component outfits have successfully transferred over. So go into your closet, save the outfit you're currently wearing, and then we can begin merging. For the first outfit, you're going to want to make sure that you own the white blaggers blouse. And now we're going to go and put on the stuntman suit with the black and white converse shoes. Once you have this on, you're going to go ahead and save it on any slot. And then put on any bodysuit that you own and do the telescope glitch. So you're going to run up to the telescope. Press right on the d-pad, open up your interaction menu, and select the saved stuntman suit. When you walk away, the bodysuit will glitch underneath the suit. Then you're going to go into tops, bikini tops, and put on a bikini top. And once you have that on, you can see that the shoes are now separate from the outfit. So go into blouses and put on the white blaggers blouse. Then go into gloves and put on any gloves that you like. I'm going to be using the black driving gloves. Then you can go into hats to remove the helmet. And from here we are ready to go into our merge job. So today I'll be using the point and shoot job. It is linked in the description of this video. Make sure to bookmark it. You'll need a friend to help you out with this. And make sure that the clothing is set to player saved outfits. When the mission starts, you're going to go once to the right, once to the right again. And as soon as it launches up, go and make your way to a gun store and save the outfit. Then exit the job through your phone. When you load back, go into outfits, heist coveralls, and put on any of the outfits with the gas mask. Now we're going to go into the telescope glitch. So run up to a telescope, press right on the d-pad, select the saved outfit, and walk away. Save the outfit again, and once you've done that, you can delete the second component outfit. Now, open up your interaction menu, swap outfits to force a save, and once you see the save icon in the bottom right hand corner, go ahead and close your GTA application. Once you've restarted your application and joined a session, open up your interaction menu, swap outfits to force a save, and from here we're going to go into a titan of a job. When you load into the job, open up your interaction menu, go in to style accessories, and go once to the right to put on an earpiece. Now just make your way to the gun store and save this outfit. Now you can go ahead and quit the job through your phone. When you load back into a session, put on any outfit that you own that has a belt, and from here, we're going to go and start up the merge mission point and shoot. 
When you load into the job, press right once and the belt will merge onto the outfit. Now just go ahead and make your way to a gun store and save this outfit. Then go ahead and quit the job through your phone. And this outfit is complete. Make sure the first slot is empty and now we can move on to our second outfit. For outfit 2, you're going to make sure you have the blue VDG blouse purchased. And from here, we're going to put on the blouse and start up the merge mission point and shoot. Once you're in the job, you're going to go once to the right and once more to the right. Once the job has started up, you're going to make your way to a gun store and save this outfit. Then go and quit the job through your phone. And that is outfit 2 complete. For outfit 3, you're going to make sure you have the mono blouse purchased. And then we're going to go into stuntman suits. Put on any stuntman suit with the black and white high tops. Save this as an outfit on any slot. And then put on a bodysuit. It doesn't matter which. And make your way to a telescope to do the telescope glitch. So we're going to run up to a telescope. Press right on the D-pad. Open up our interaction menu. Select the saved stuntman outfit and walk away. From here, go to tops bikini tops put on any bikini top and then we're gonna go into blouses and put on the mono blouse from here remove the helmet and put on gloves if you'd like now we're gonna go and start up the merge job point and shoot once you're in the job go once to the right once to the right again and go and save this outfit at a ammunition and once you have it saved you can go ahead and quit the job through your phone then when you load back into a lobby go into your outfits and put on the heist coverall with the gas mask now we're going to do the telescope glitch so run up to the telescope press right on the d-pad open up your interaction menu select the saved outfit and walk away Now save this outfit, open up your interaction menu, swap outfits to force a save, and once you see the save icon in the bottom right hand corner, close your GTA application. Once you load back into a GTA online lobby after you've restarted your game, you're just going to open up your interaction menu, swap outfits to force a save, and then we're going to go into a titan of a job. Once you load into the job, open up your interaction menu, go into accessories, and go once to the right to put on an earpiece. From here, go and save this outfit at a gun store, and quit the job through your phone. When you load into a lobby, go and make your way to a clothing store or the gun store, go into outfits, diamond casino heist outfits, go into the prison guard section and select any of these outfits. If you don't have any of these outfits unlocked, you need to do the setup for the diamond casino heist. Now once you have this outfit on, you're just going to go and start up or join the merge mission point and shoot. When you're in the mission, you're going to go once to the right, and the belt will merge onto the outfit. Now go and save this outfit, and that is pretty much outfit 3 complete. For outfit 4, we're going to go into stuntman suits, and put on the stuntman suit with the gray and white high top shoes. So it is called the silver jock currently suit. Now you're going to save this in any slot, and then you're going to put on any bodysuit that you own, it doesn't matter. And once you have that bodysuit on, you're going to do the telescope glitch. So you're going to run up to a telescope, press right on the d-pad, open up your interaction menu, select the saved stuntman suit, and walk away from the telescope. Now you're going to go into bikini tops, put on the black bikini top, 
and you can see now the suit is separate from the shoes so we're gonna go into hoodies and put on the gray hoodie then you can go into hats to remove the helmet and now we can go into gloves and we're going to put on the tan wool gloves now from here we're going to start up or join the merge mission point and shoot when you're in the job you're gonna go once to the right once to the right again and once to the right for a third and final time now go and save this outfit at a gun store and once you have it saved, quit the job through your phone. When you load back into a lobby, go into outfits, heist coveralls, and put on any heist coverall with the gas, gas mask. Now we're going to go and do the telescope glitch. We're going to run up to the telescope, press right on the d-pad, open up our interaction menu, select the saved outfit, and walk away from the telescope. Now just save this outfit. And once you have it saved, open up your interaction menu, swap outfits to force a save, and when you see the save icon in the bottom right hand corner, close your GTA application. Once you've restarted your game and loaded into an online session, open up your interaction menu, swap outfits to force a save, and from here we're going to start up a titan of a job. Once you've loaded into the job, open up your interaction menu, go into accessories, gear, and go once to the right to put on an earpiece. Now go and save this outfit at a gun store and quit the job through your phone. When you load back into a lobby, put on any outfit that you own with a belt. And we're going to now start up the merge mission point and shoot. When you're in the mission, go once to the right and the belt will merge onto the outfit. Now save this outfit at a gun store and once you've saved it, quit the job through your phone. And that is outfit for complete. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!